Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Molly is here and she's getting me a little glass of wine filled to the brim. And uh, she will be doing, she will be in a video tomorrow and maybe she'll make a quick appearance here. Anyway, uh, tomorrow we're planning to both watch the Beatles Help movie, which Molly has never seen. And we will give it a, well, more Molly than me because I've, I've seen it and I love it. But Molly will give a review and her thoughts on this movie. She's never seen a Beatles movie. And then maybe some other time, A Hard Day's Night. I'm joking. I'm waiting for the wine. Easy, easy. <laughs> easy, easy. Uh, so this is just kind of a vlog. Now, a couple of days ago, I posted uh, the 10th year anniversary of me unboxing the, the Beatles stereo box set. Thank you. Why don't you show the people that you're here in some way, like your face, you know. <laughs> she, gave, she, gave, she gave you all the finger. Just in humor. Uh, don't you love Molly? Well, I do. Uh, but anyway, I posted this video a couple of days ago, as I just said. And looking back, just, just me looking back on 10 years ago, I'm quite a difference in my personality, I would think, and hopefully for the better. Back then, uh, I think it shows, maybe, you know, I used to do really silly comedy videos back in the day, not as so much now, but I want to get back into that. But with, you know, doing just a, a normal vlog like, like that, I'm so, uh, I don't have very much confidence in myself and I'm, you know, subdued, except for a, a very large burp. What did you say? Nothing. Oh, I thought you said something. Your hearing. <laughs> I'm losing my hearing. And other people notice, too, the, the difference, and I'll just read one comment. I, I received a lot of very nice comments for this video, and quite a few of you uh, were saying that this was the first video of mine that you ever saw 10 years ago, and you've been following me for the past 10 years, and I just want to publicly thank each and every one of you, seriously, for watching any of the videos that you watch, I really appreciate it. It gets me emotional. But Jan Janet Sampson, who is actually Bob, I think he uses his, his wife's name, if I am not mistaken. He wrote, no offense, Larry, but you seem like a more fun guy now than you were back then. You're getting sillier as you age, good for you, Plus, to me, the White Album is the Beatles' worst album, Larry, because uh, he's just talking about the Beatles here. Um, blah, 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 blah. And another one by Lee Maloney. Ah, uh, stud, how much more confident you are now in front of the camera. You're a good man. And uh, Keola Smash, apologies if I mis mispronounce, mispronounce, mispronounce <laughs> your name. You were so nice and serious. Then all decorium gave way to the forewarned yet still unexpected burp. It was a loud burp. But, yeah, look, looking back, you know, you don't realize it at the time, but I think I was uh, kind of depressed, you know, in a way. And nowadays, even, even before Molly, you know, my marriage breakup and all that, and I went through some bad times, like every, like most people do. Uh, very sad, depressing times. But I fought back, and I'm proud of myself. I, there's videos uh, on my front page. There's some serious videos in a playlist. I forget the name of it at the moment. But it's, you know, about depression and marriage breakup and everything. And I built myself back up. It took time. But I w will say this, if something happens to you, you know, 
a boyfriend or a girlfriend breakup or a marriage breakup. It is good, it's okay to be alone for a while. It's actually good for you. And I remember, uh, I've told this story many times, I still mention it to Molly once in a blue moon because it, when, when I think about it, it just still annoys me. I, I built myself back up uh, and you know, starting to have more confidence and I was starting to try and date, which never really worked out, but I met some very nice women. And one day I went to a singles dance, first and only time. And believe me, you really feel alone when you go to a singles dance, because you know, I'm used to going out with a partner. And so I, I was sitting there at the table and people are dancing and, and so this one woman came up and she sat down and she was talking to me and, and she said, you know, what do you do for a living? And at that time, I was a temp, I worked for a temp agency at Procter & Gamble. You know, and it was, but it was a full-time job, and I was happy with that. And she said to me, "That's not good enough." And you know, all of my confidence just dropped to the floor. And it just shows you how somebody just saying something to you can sometimes totally destroy you. And but in the long run, even that day made made me stronger. And then the other situations did too. And then meeting Mal, the, the thing is, uh, in the past, I was so subdued and quiet and nice. Sometimes I think you can be too nice. And so in my relationship with Molly, we have, you know, we have our arguments. We, and I'll argue, not, not yelling, not screaming and yelling, but just disagreeing and standing up for yourself just like Molly does for herself now. She was in the same situation. She had to build herself up. You can see from er earlier uh, videos of us, and she wanted to be in the videos, but at the same time, she, wasn't, she was not confident, and some people thought maybe I was forcing her to do the videos, which I was not. She wanted to do them, but once she was doing the videos, she felt awkward and shy and but obviously now you can see the change. A lot of people can. So we've, we've both, I think, grown over the years. And, you know, with saying I have confidence now, it doesn't mean in an egotistical way. Because trust me, I'm not egotistical. Even though in some of my videos I, uh, I act like I am. And then some people don't realize I'm acting. And so they think I'm a jerk or whatever. And I don't think I am. But... You know, uh, I just like to have, I try and entertain people and give out positivity on my channel. And, I, and so I just, uh, I get emotional too. You know, I do. I just want to thank everybody that's been there for me uh, through the years, even, even new subscribers that enjoy my content. I really appreciate it. And, uh, I don't take anything for granted, and neither should you. And I guess I'm just saying, uh, everybody goes through rough times, like I did, and you can get through it. I think uh, my playlist is stories and more on my front page, if you want to see the more serious side of the Canadian stud muffin. And uh, that's about it. And so... Molly's also planning to do a comical unboxing. You know how I unboxed some tool CDs recently. She's going to do a, a take on that as Canadian Stub Muffin in her own unique way. And we might do a live chat. We'll schedule it for the next day or two. So just keep a lookout for that. And so thank you again. And look, I hope you look forward to the review of Help with Molly and I in the next day or so. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Say something, baby. There she is. Thank you. Love you. Bye. She's making kitchen. What?
spot. Yeah, put you on the spot. <laughs> and then she just kisses me. Huh? But you're making kitchen. Cassie gonna say kitchen cacciatore. That's a new. That's a new dinner. She's making chicken cacciatore. And I just had one sip of wine. I need more wine. So bye, everybody. What a silly video.